I'm here with Ken, and today he is making a seasonal home sign that I'm telling you right now is going to be a hit with your family, with your friends, with everybody that comes over. Tell me I'm wrong, Ken. No, you are not wrong, but I'd say that the best thing about this is I get tired of switching things out constantly. Yeah. This is something that can stay in place, and then you change it to match the holiday. It it's goes for pretty, every holiday, and you don't have to move it off the wall. It's pretty genius. You are correct. you got a couple versions here. So right. Take us through it. So I'm going to give everyone at home a couple of different ways to do this. Um, one is with a pre-bought shadow box. Get a box like this. You can get it at craft stores or order it online, and it's the size for a pennant, for like a football or sports gotcha. pennant. Yep. They're a little expensive. It'll run you around $60 to $70. So if that's not in the budget and you're a little crafty, like some of us are. I say we make one from scratch, and when I say we, I mean mostly Ken Wingard. But we're going to do it together. So we're going to start <laughs> off with a picture frame. I'm going to give you the hard stuff. Okay. You have a picture frame there. Get yep. one you already have. Right get here. one from the craft store. Got it. And then what you're going to do for the background is you can paint it. You can use foil. Whatever's going to fit in with your home decor. I'm using scrapbook paper. Okay. I have scrapbook paper here. All I did was attach three pieces. Which one are you going to choose? Hearts? Hearts. Roses? You kidding me? Because you it's love hearts. being back with me. I do. I do. I love being back with you, and I love being back with everybody at home. So there you go. Lots of love. Here we so go. So we put that in just like a gotcha. regular picture. While we're, you're doing that, I'm going to build the frame for the back. Okay. All I have here is one by twos, and you're going to cut them or have a hardware store cut them so they are slightly smaller than your frame. If you can look at that. Size them up, and then just go ahead, nail gun or screw those in place. Okay, very good. And this I is all going to make sense in a sec here, everybody. We're making this in little, there's, there's essentially two different portions to this, right? Exactly. Okay. There's a front and a back. Okay. So here is the one that's already made. And then what I'm going to do, once you're done, cut a piece of chipboard that is going to be the exact same size. I suggest you cut the chipboard after you've made the frame. So if you're off a quarter inch or something, it's not going to matter. And then all we're going to do is just... Nail gun and screw that in place. Now again, you can just use a regular screwdriver, a regular hammer and nails. And you know I was a little upset uh, that you got to use the nail gun on our first... Uh... I gave you the creative stuff. You got to pick out the paper. <laughs> Wait a minute. I also get to use the drill I find. Yeah, you do, so you that's do. coming. That's coming, everybody. So now once you've got your box done, what you're going to do, and this is sort of the part that I love, we're going to put a piece of Velcro, self-stick, just right in the center here. You'll see what that's for later. Boom. So now this is our whole back section. I'm going to hand that to you. Now, listen, also, you, you see here that we got a couple hinges. Did you hit those hinges? Exactly. So put that. two hinges yeah. on, and what you're going to do, put that down on top Boom. of your frame Let me and turn simply around. hinge it so you can a see. couple of screws to hold it in place. Exactly. That's going to be the key to keep you as a busy working parent like me from going bonkers. Ken, I think this is a great DIY for our first one of season nine. I just want to tell you that right it, now. And it feels, it feels very collaborative. Yes, it does. So while you're putting those on, I've already got this one attached here. What I've done is I've added a little chain, get that to the hardware store, and I've added a clasp here that's going to hold it shut, if you can see that. See, everybody, isn't that like great? And then all I'm going to do is hardware letters, H-M-E, skip the O. Now, here's a little tip here. Don't put this on with hot glue, because hot glue in the glass, A, it's not going to hold, and it actually might crack the glass. Okay, that's a good tip. So a little E6000, and use masking tape to mark your spot, because that's going to make it super easy um, to get it in place. Beautiful. Boom, do that, and then a little bit of tape on top will hold everything in place until it dries. Okay. Once you've done that, let that sit. Now, I have up on the wall here what you're going to do, the missing O, Last little bit of Velcro. We're going to put that right there. And then the magic. This is the part Cameron loves. I do. I'm just going to take that little class, open it up. And if you can see in there, every holiday, Valentine's Day, summer, Christmas, football season. Right now, we're going to do pumpkin season. Pumpkin season. And all that's it is the fall. And look at that, right everybody. You there. change it out with the seasons. Exactly. Season nine of Home and Family start off with a bang. Boom. And where to go. Full instructions, you guys. You know where to go. Hallmarkchannel.com. And make sure you follow this guy right here. Ken on social media. At Kenneth Wingard. Now.